sea anemone. Sea anemones live in oceans all over the world. This is a sea anemone. They look like underwater plants with lots of tentacles. I wonder if they tickle. Not too close, Marco. Sea anemones are actually animals, and they're predators. You mean that's an animal? And it eats other animals? Yes. The sea anemone attaches itself to a rock or coral. When an animal gets too close, the sea anemone strikes. Those tentacles have a special sting that paralyzes their prey. Paralyzes. That means they can't move, right? Right. Then the sea anemone grabs them and eats them. Whoa, I wouldn't want to be an enemy of a sea manamali. Anemone. <laughs> Just what I said. Now let's test your memory. The ocean floor. Beneath the waters of Earth's ocean lies the ocean floor. If you flew into space and looked down on our Earth, you'd see it's mostly water. Wow! On the deepest ocean floor, it's totally dark. No. So you can't see anything? No. But travel down in a submersible. Cool. You'll find plenty to see. The ocean floor is not all flat. It has many trenches and mountains. In fact, the tallest mountain on our planet is actually mostly underwater. It's called Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea? It's dormant, which is a non-active, sleeping volcano. But many volcanoes are not dormant. They're erupting even now, underwater. That's amazing. Now let's test your memory. Blue whale. The blue whale can be found in all of the world's oceans. Whales are mammals. They are, Gorby. They're warm-blooded animals like us. Blue whales are actually the biggest animal in the whole world. So even bigger than a dinosaur? They're the biggest living things ever. Their tongue alone weighs as much as an elephant. They are enormous! And look how big its tail is! Hey, what do they eat to fill up their tummies? Despite their size, they eat one of the smallest animals on the planet, a tiny shrimp-like animal called krill. <laughs> They must be lots of them. Aw, two friends having a chat. Blue whales are not only the largest animals in the world, but also one of the loudest. They communicate using sounds and songs. They are the largest animal on the planet. You'd soon notice if a blue whale is nearby. <laughs> Coral reefs are found in warm waters around the world. Look at those amazing colorful rocks. They're not rocks, Gorby. They're coral reefs. What's the difference between a rock and a reef? A coral reef is made up of thousands of tiny animals called polyps. They're animals? Yes, in family groups called colonies. So animals called polyps make colonies, and a group of colonies make a reef? They do. 
like the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. It's the biggest coral reef in the world. It's so big, you can see it from space. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? He lives there. Thousands of different fish and sea creatures live in coral reefs. Reefs are so, so amazing! Get ready to read! Sea Start Sea stars are found in oceans all over the world. Hey, Lily, what do you notice about this animal? It looks just like a star. It's a sea star. You've got it. The sea star gets its name from its shape. Most sea stars have five arms, but some have 10, 20, or even 30. And the sea star's arms are special. They have suckers underneath them to help them move across the ocean floor. But the most amazing thing about the sea star's arms is that they can regenerate. Regenerate? Regenerate means that if a sea star loses an arm to a predator, they can grow it back again. Whoa! And over time, some sea stars can regenerate a whole new sea star from just one arm. Amazing! What a star! Find the matching numbers. Sea urchin. Sea urchins live on ocean floors in cold and warm salt waters. Look at all those spiky plants. Those aren't plants, Willow. They're animals. Called sea urchins. Sea urchins come in many different shapes and colors. They're eaten. They're also used to grip the sea floor. They even help it catch food. Those spines really help the sea urchins, but Where's its mouth? It's sitting on it, Willow. Its mouth is on its bottom. Yes, it eats algae and other creatures on the rocks that it's sitting on. Wow, I've learned so much about sea urchins. They are fascinating. Find the matching numbers.